to you again with another episode of enter the chill zone and uh, this is let's see uh, number eight in the series and uh, I'm just having a great time obviously I've got a lot of bases here and I work with a boatload of amazing builders and um, and uh, and different um, you know base companies and uh, this is just a real <laughs> cool job to have to be able to feature all these different instruments. So I thought I'd do it in a systematic way and go through every single one of them. So this is number eight. And today I wanna to share with you and tell you all about and let you hear my MG Bass uh, Desert Custom five string. This instrument was built by Maurizio Costa. And uh, Maurizio is a builder of Brazilian descent um, or Brazilian, he comes from Brazil now set up in New Hampshire, building in the United States. And um, we met and um, forged a friendship, a very, a very quick and, and, uh, and great friendship. And he built me this instrument. Um, I was able to choose all the specs and all the wood. And um, he crafted this gorgeous instrument for me, which is comprised of many different woods. And as you can see, it's quite beautiful. It has Purple Heart and Wenji in the top. Um, the neck is purple is a neck through instrument, purple heart, uh, maple, mahogany, and the back is swamp ash. Has this nice wooden control cavity cover. Uh, the electronics that I asked for are the Nordstrand big blades and the new Nordstrand boost only two band preamp, which I love. Um, again, the fingerboard has multiple woods. It has the Wenji mahogany and maple in the fingerboard. It's a 24 fret instrument on a 34 inch scale. And, um, he even put, uh, built me a, a nameplate on the, on the end of the headstock, which was very cool and very flattering. But this instrument's dynamite. It's, uh, pretty lightweight, but not not too light but uh it's it's um it's not a big heavy thick instrument it's kind of thin front to back and um as you can see it's multiple layers in the body going this way in addition to the neck through design and the two um types of wood that are used in the top so it's really cool it's got this interesting cutaway area here which is nice for when you're slapping because if you see my fingers kind of rest right there and then I can just grab with that one so that that's kind of kind of neat and, and unusual and well thought out um, it has a low fast low action fast neck but it has really nice tension so it's not all flappy. It has a great um, neck throughs tend to be a little bit darker and richer in tone. Um, I wouldn't want to say that it's slower, but um, you know how a bolt-on will be a real, real bright attack and kind of a fast, um, typically kind of a fast response. This one does really well. <laughs> sounds like in a, in, in a few different pickup positions that was both pickups and the EQ is not even turned on yet okay so now we're just going to go to the front pickup Thank you. 
bass does an incredible, um, looks like a super boutique, um, you know, um, multi-wood kind of uh, high-end boutique bass, but it does a great vintage thud. school sound to it okay that's it that was just the front pickup now we'll go back to both pickups one more time <laughs> one of the the action is the lowest of, of all my bases but I haven't raised it up because I'm kind of having fun with it because it's like you know it's like a sports car <laughs> just the back pickup and I love these big blade pickups by the way I have them in uh, one two three and another one on the way so it's gonna I'm gonna end up having four bases with these with the big blades in it and I just adore them to me they sound just completely pure and open clear and natural um, like all Nordstrand pickups do but there's something about the blades there's something about the character of the blades that uh, definitely sets them apart. And, um, you know, I can't really even put my put my finger on it. I, it's kind of hard to describe. You know, you could use three bazillion adjectives. You know, um, they're sassy. You know, they've got attitude. They've got clarity. They've got punch. Um, they don't color. There's no coloration. They're very natural, so they let the sound of my hands come through. So here's just the back pickup. Of 
course, when I want to get 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 crazy and really start digging in. <laughs> instrument because the way it's set up so low i have to kind of ease up with my right hand a little bit usually i'm reaching through the strings and just you know gorilla hand in it. so that is a really great back pickup sound so let's start bringing in some of the eq okay so now i'm just going to kind of bring up the treble and the bass in increments and it just gets big and clear and nasty. And it goes right to that super funky modern uh, funk place. tone too you know it's a bass that looks like art but it sounds ferocious <laughs> instrument you listen to this instrument start to factor in all the specs that i just told you about it all the premium high quality woods and the fact that it's completely handmade no cnc machines you might think that it's you know like a forty five hundred dollar base it's not it's half that his prices are unbelievable you know it's like blows everybody's mind when they realize how much you can get one of these instruments built for and you can pick everything that you want done so um, I strongly encourage you to check out Maurizio and the Desert series, um, you know, and he has several other ones. He has this great uh, single cut that he does. It's really cool looking. He'll do multi strings. He'll do, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve string basses, um, four string basses. <laughs> and, um, you know, he'll do anything that you want. And he's just a one man operation, you know, up there in New Hampshire. He's He's a family man and he's just doing his thing, you know, and I'm so excited for him to to make his way to come here to the United States, to bring his brand, to bring his quality and his expertise and to make it available to, to everybody. And at, at a price that's um, really, really staggeringly low considering what you get. So I encourage you to check out MG Bass and um, hit up Maurizio and um, let him build you an instrument. Before I go, I just want to say thanks one more time to Gailey and Kruger. I'm, in this video, I'm using the MB Fusion 800, which is a dynamite amp. I've become really great friends with this amplifier. It's got a cool setup because it's got a legit tube pre and then Class D um, back end. So it puts out 800 watts. It's super lightweight. And it's got lots of cool features. Like it's got a compressor limiter that's on a push-pull. I mean, a, like it's more, more of a push-button kind of scenario. And um, it's got two channels that are foot switchable, so you can have two different gain stages if you want to drive up one side really, really hot and get a really dirty, uh, gritty, grindy tube sound um, on one of the channels. You have that option, and you can have the other, the other one clean. And then it has um, four band EQ, and um, you know it's just it's just a killer amplifier. It's got two cooling fans on it, so it never even gets warm. I've used it. You know, I've used it with two cabinets cranking it loud on a big outdoor stage and the thing doesn't even break a sweat. 
So I love it. And I have a long history with GK going back to the mid 80s. I started using GK and I used them for about 10 years. Um, when I first started playing uh, professionally, I think it was late mid, mid 80s, all the way up to the mid 90s, I used GK RB400s and I loved them. And then the cabinet that I'm using is the Roger Bear uh, Bear Amplification ML112 cab. And the ML stands for mid loaded. As I've said in the previous videos, it's a, it's a, the high frequency driver is not a tweeter or a horn, it's a, a coned driver. So it tends to give this great, smoother, softer top end instead of that kind of harsh, brittle um, high end that typically will come from a tweeter. I find that I have to, on tweeter cabinets, which I don't mind, you know, I, I use them, I have it on the lowest setting and I have to really ease back on the treble control of the EQ and certainly I'm, I never use the treble on the on the bass because that horn, that the bullet horns and stuff like that are just piercing in. They, they're so distracting to me. Um, these cabinets, on the other hand, are really cool because they're like a really great even full range sound and the way that they throw out into the room is very even in terms of frequency um, distribution into the room. So um, yeah, that's about it. Those are, uh, those are, that's, the, that's the rig I'm using in this next several videos. And again, check out MG Bass and Maurizio Costa and uh, keep coming back and checking out these videos. This is fun. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, I hope it's, you know, I hope it's useful for you to have a look and listen at some of these great instruments. Thanks. See you next time.